Lauren Borbert, who is a professional fool, decided to exhibit her skills once more uh, on the, I guess, public national stage, whoever decided to look at this. Um, with her fashion choices, let's take a look at this picture that she took when she posed for a photo with the former president. Uh, you can probably guess who the former president is that she is posing with. Jimmy she Carter? Had, no. Yeah. <laughs> she has a him. snazzy uh, red <laughs> dress on. Um, and if you can't tell from the uh, writing that's been kind of eaten up by the dress, it says, let's go Brandon across her back because that's cool. Um, as for many of you guys who haven't been living under a rock, uh, haven't seen the conservative uh, Republican. Trump like new slogan now is let's go Brandon being mistaken for a crowd that was chanting F you Biden or F Joe Biden. And now that's become the rallying cry of conservatives. And of course, Lohan Borbers is jumping on for that trend. Now, obviously this is a, a, a also a shot at Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and her wearing at the Met Gala attacks the rich dress, similarly written, opposite color schemes. Um, and she was making a point, of course, about taxing the wealthy, which is something we just don't do in this country. So one statement about taxing the rich because we don't do it because that'll better our society and our country. The other is just angrily yelling at someone F because Biden. that's a stance. Now, also one more thought about this. Uh, after, I mean, before AOC wore her dress at the Met Gala, um, at the Grammys, Joy Villa was wearing, she does this multiple. She's had to build the wall dress, as you can see here. She's had a Trump 2020, I think it was dress. Maybe it was the 2016 one. I don't remember when she wore it. But oh, God. she's done a thing with these walls and Trump support to get that attention. So it was a response. AOC's response seemed to be from this. And then, of course, Bobert's response seemed to have been from AOC. Okay, great. My only thought is, is everybody needs to stop wearing these dresses that say yeah. things on them. Now I'm going to just start writing all over my clothes. <laughs> okay. Um, or you could talk. And then people would hear that. That's another way to go. All right, so uh, two interesting things out of this. Uh, I'm gonna explain why this is actually kind of relevant to national politics, not just a, a funny story. Mm -hmm. um, but first, uh, all these Let's Go Branding guys, uh, a pilot did it the other day. Uh, Southwest? I think so. <laughs> I think it was Southwest. It was. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're weird. They <laughs> They become the weirdo right wing uh, airline. Anyways, <laughs> they're a great airline. They're the only socialist airline. Everyone seats open seating. That's true. That's first true. come, first serve. That's yeah. that's you can't get more commie than that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm surprised any right wingers go on there. Well, look, a lot of right wingers <laughs> are also poor and middle class, uh, but uh, so you won't catch a lot of the elites though on there. Anyways, uh, so put aside Southwest. Um, so, but these folks that are saying. Um, Let's go, Brandon are saying, as Jared mentioned, F Joe Biden. So if I saw Lauren Boebert wearing this dress, I would just politely and be like, hey, how you doing, Lauren? Go F yourself. And everybody that sees her, if you don't agree with her, if or if somebody's wearing a Let's Go Brandon shirt and stuff. And I know I don't want like, don't cause, don't touch anybody, don't make it physical, and don't try to start a fight. But just tell them, go F yourself and use the real world word, why? They're saying it, and they're bra like they brag about it, like, ha ha, we told you to f off. <laughs> and then if you go say, oh, okay, sure, then you go f yourself. They're like, oh, because it's white right wing privilege. They're used to running everything and and not being equal and being able to oppress everyone. And you, I can say anything I want about you. You can't say it about me. Why? You just said that that we sh you should f the president and the Democrats and presumably all that stuff. Why can't I say to you, you're saying it. Oh, no, no, when I say it, it's super cool. When you say it, it's offensive. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you guys remember before the election, there was like this little uh, golf cart MAGA parade for yeah. these old people in uh, that a small rich town in Florida that I'm not remembering. It's the villages, I think it was. And it was like boomer versus boomer. And like, uh, you know, this this one Biden voter was like, F you, F you. And this woman was like, what a dirty mouth. And she was driving in the golf cart. <laughs> it was so funny if you haven't seen that video. And the woman's response is, ah, your president has said worse. And it's so true. Like this idea that. Trump hasn't said all of these things, hasn't mocked every person with disabilities, hasn't mocked every woman, hasn't done all the things. Like, yet listen to the guy you claim to love. But okay, on the dress, um, stop biting off AOC style. You're clearly thirsty AF, like, wow. Um, two, is that actually Trump? Why does the real Trump 
look like a cardboard cutout of Trump. Like it doesn't look like he's there. It looks like she's turned against a cardboard cutout of him. I 100% thought that at first too. I had to read the right? story first. When I saw, first saw the picture, I said, "Oh, she's posing against a cardboard cutout." I think it was Marjorie Taylor Greene that did the same thing. She like cupped his balls or something. It was really weird. It wasn't something <laughs> like that. It was a cardboard cutout of Trump, and she put her hand around his crotch area, like I got him. I don't know what that was about, but no, I totally it, thought the same thing. And he's leaning away from her, as move. you can see too. He's like, he's thinking. There's a lean going on. He doesn't. He's not really particularly happy about being next to her. Okay, and you're right. No, no, I think you're right. There is a bit of a lean. And, and normally, if it was his daughter, it'd be a lot closer. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so now I want to get to the relevant part of the story, um, guys. In a sense, uh, the dresses do mean something. Uh, AOC's dress was. Uh, a very quick summary of the progressive position, not really the Democratic position. Democrats don't want to tax the rich, they are rich, right? <laughs> the corporate Democrats right now in Congress are blocking any increases on taxes to the rich. And that's all of Democratic leadership, they're all liars, right? But the progressive position is somewhat well represented by that dress. It's of course comically small, we don't want to tax the rich for uh, the purpose of taxing them. We want to do it so we can get paid family leave for you guys, health care, higher wages, etc. So it's not a perfect description of our ethos, but it it gives you some sense of what progressives stand for. And Lauren Boebert's dress is also representative of the right wing. They don't believe in policy. The, the, the entire ethos of the right wing now is own the libs. Uh, yeah. They are defined, they're not defined by any trade policy, any budget policy, any spending, any war. They, they're all over the place. They have no actual defining policy. So the what brings them together is they hate Democrats. They hate the left. They hate liberals. They hate fill in the blank on races, gender, <laughs> you name it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so. Let's go, Brandon is the defining principle, if you can call it that, statement certainly that unifies the Republican Party right now. I've been like floored all week because I keep on remembering that there is a pandemic and there was a worse pandemic and there have been now 700,000 plus Americans dead and still thousands dying every day despite advances in things like, you know, uh, the vaccine, potentially a pill that prevents from severe hospitalization. Why don't Democrats ever talk about the fact that they are the party that wants to keep people alive? That swung the vote. We all know, I know Republican voters who other than the pandemic would have probably voted Trump twice, but they were like, you know what, I want to live. Like that was their, that was the mark. And I just, I feel like it slipped out of, it's just gone because it's only been reduced to like masks or do you believe in lockdown or do you believe, what about just believing that people should live? You know, what, who's the party that, forget about any benefit, who's the party that wants you to be alive so you can make it to Thanksgiving, so you can safely gather with people? It just, it's insane to me. How the biggest electoral electoral turnout in I guess our life in the history of the United States has been squandered, and no one keeps on saying, "Do do we remember?" It's been a year, you guys, just a year, but but what a year! We're in a lot better of a place. So I, I I'm like, I think I'm taking crazy pills, feeling like Democrats just don't want to talk about how they're saving lives. It's an easy argument to go with, honestly, also in this country, being the richest in the world, history ever, strongest, richest and all that. Legislating and, and being a representative from Senate to, to Congress, doesn't matter what, it should be pretty easy when you're rich. And I'm talking about overall as a country. People always talk about that, you know, if I was just rich, I wouldn't have to worry about anything ever again in life, which a lot of times is a lie because then you have other stresses that come with that. People probably picking at you, family members for money. We always heard those stories about, say, lotto winners. But once you're rich, Things get easy, right? Why isn't it easy yeah. in America for people to live? Why isn't it easy in America for people to get health care? Why isn't it easy in America for people to, to send their kids to great yeah. schools? If we're rich and we brag about it so much, the only reason that there's anyone in the country that can't live that life or even have an opportunity for any kind of progression in their life is because we limit that richness. All of us pay for it, all of us pay into it. 
but we don't get it back. It should be really easy. Now, from a Democratic point of view, if you're a Democratic representative, senator, whatever, president, to say, we're the pro-life party. We want you to exactly. live. You've got a exactly. heartbeat, and it's not only at six weeks. You've got a heartbeat. Do you want to live? We're the pro-life party. Yep. Stephanie Cutter said the other day, we can't, after after they lost in Virginia, Democrats lost Virginia, we, we got to be the party of, of parents. I know how you can be the party of parents. Do something for parents. Don't say you're going to do something for parents and then say you've done something for parents after you've done nothing for parents. Because Republicans straight up tell parents, F you, we're not going to do anything for you, but give you a couple of things to argue with other people about, get mad about the other side and say that we're representing you. Because after those same parents, as they just touted, we've got the suburban parents because we said we want them to have an input in their child's schooling. After you've got them on your side, they're still not doing anything for those kids in their schooling. Ask them how well many of their schools in their area are doing. Are they doing well because you've stripped them of mask wearing and made sure the mandates aren't happening in Florida? How does that go to their development and their schooling? It doesn't, it means nothing. And until they actually point out that we're the party of, of parents, we're the party of life. It's pretty mm -hmm. easy if you just say it and then do it once you have that control. Cuz like you said, Francesca, after 20, many of these Republicans said, I, I kinda wanna live. And then they maybe didn't vote for Trump. And the people that came in kinda said, I guess we're kinda here to um, maybe us, maybe do something for you. They were ready for someone to give them something to do, for something to follow, and a principle yeah. to, to, uh, to, to jump on board with. They haven't given it to them yet. Yeah, well, that, look, this is the problem with corporate rule. Uh, so Republicans say they just voted against higher minimum wage, which would have not only raised the minimum wage, but would have created pressure to raise all of your wages. They vote no, that you can't have higher wages. They voted to block lower drug prices. No, my donors say you're supposed to have higher drug prices. We can go on and on. And then their own voters turn around and go, wait, you just made my drug prices higher. I don't even have guaranteed health care. I have lower wages. So what do you have for me? And the Republican Party says, let's go brand it, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. And, and then yeah. the Democrats then turn around. They have this golden opportunity to say, we're gonna do these things. We're gonna deliver on higher wages, healthcare, etc." And then they go, "Oh, we checked with our corporate donors and it turns out they're vetoing it. And so no, we lied. So then the voters are like, wait, do I vote for the Republicans who say, F you America? And, and don't give me anything and say they're not gonna give me anything? Or do I vote for the Democrats who said they were gonna give it to me and then didn't? Well, that's the yeah. you know hellish choice we've been living with for the last 40 years. I mean, and also just the inability to rebrand the phrase freedom, you know, the word freedom. And, and especially, I know people are tired of the pandemic. I'm sure it doesn't pull well to even talk about it or people who have, whose lives have been saved by the vaccine. But you should talk about it and you should say, hey, now I have my freedom back because I was able to, you know, get this vaccine because thanks, you know, no thanks essentially to Ron DeSantis covered up, you know, all kinds of uh, dead bodies and, and, and like cooked the books essentially. Um, no thanks to him. Like I'm back in, I'm back in living my life. Like I just I want to see that. Like again, I'm not asking for a build back better. I'm just asking to like capitalize on the wins you already have. They can't even do that. They're afraid to. Honestly, this is the last thought I have because there's if we're, if we're gonna go with political slogans and let's go Brandon's because that fires people up. Okay, you know what? Appeal to these people who some for some reason let's go Brandon is it it, it ignites the fire in their gut. If you start passing policies that actually help these same people, by the way, these policies help Republicans. This is something else they just don't say a lot. Hey, Republican voters, do you have a child that you're trying to figure out exactly what to do with their uh, their schooling while you go back to work? Since we want to go back to work, we've got you back to work. We see all these job reports, everyone's happy that, uh, that under Joe Biden is happening. We've got all these jobs back, how are you gonna get back to work? Take the let's go Brandon thing, as stupid as it is, let's go Brandon. On this policy, let's go Brandon on childcare. Let's go Brandon on prescription drug prices. Let's go Brandon mm, on housing. That would be great. Let's go Brandon. Yes. And by the time you get everything done, it's let's go Brandon, right? We're going and we're going <laughs> forward whether or not you want to say F me or not. F me doesn't hurt me, but I'm still here to help you. It's such a simple message. There's nobody in the in, in the White House advisor role that says, hey, Joe. I say you go out and embrace Let's Go Brandon. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, 
you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.